inspiration? Where do I get my inspiration? I get my inspiration from uh, uh, my answer is related to the previous question that we were discussing from uh, from the great works of uh, writers and illustrators that have gone before me. Um, yeah, every time I see a great painting, uh, it stimulates it, it stimulates ideas in my head. It, it makes it makes me excited. It gets me excited. It makes me want to go paint a painting, something like that. It captures something, some quality that I saw in, in another artist, in another illustrator's painting, or uh, or that I saw in a movie somewhere. So basically, as I said, everything we see in life, um, great characters, you know, great paintings, great. Uh, Great stories, great compositions, uh, give, uh, gives me uh, gives me inspiration to draw from uh, that, and you have to get a lot of sleep. Catch me good sleep when when uh, I've noticed that when you don't get when I don't get sleep, it's very hard to uh, to, to make the connection to connect to your to your own encyclopedia to, uh, to basically feel a piece so that you can start to develop a piece. And you have to feel it first. And that comes from being excited about something. And once, once I'm excited about something, I start to go through my little catalog of, of other other artists' attempts at a similar work that I'm that I'm looking to uh, to put together. And uh, what were their successes and what were their failures? And uh, um, I want to draw from their successes, add them to my own, and I want to avoid their failures as well, so that I can avoid failures myself. <laughs> Which is your favorite piece? What is which is my favorite piece? Yeah. Uh, I have no one, no singular favorite piece. Usually, my favorite piece is the piece I'm working on at the time. And when I finish that piece, I'm very excited to put it away and to start working on the next piece. That said. Um, there's there is probably one painting that I found that, that may be not my favorite, not my favorite picture. Um, I work in different different genres. So I work in the horror genre. I do uh, age romanticism, which are rom romantic pictures. Um, I do children's books, so little fuzzy little animals. So um, I would, uh, if I were to answer what was my favorite piece, I'd probably have to pick a piece in each category. But uh, I probably do have one personal favorite piece, and there's a, um, a Red Sonia cover that I did for a magazine called Savage Tales, where she, she's, uh, she's in the process of taking a bath. So she's disrobing, and she's climbing into the pond to wash herself off. So she's put her, she's put her, uh, her cloak and her sword and her weapons on a tree, and she's, and she's walking into, into the lake to wash herself. And she doesn't realize it was just a tiger on a tree that sees her washing the tigers coming in. So that's uh, that takes about four years ago. I think I think that's my best painting that I've done so far. So personal collection is your favorite kind of character? Yeah. My favorite comic character? That's, that's, a, that's a hard question. My favorite comic character. I think my favorite comic character is Ben Grimm, the Thing from the Fantastic Four. Yeah. Uh, ¿Qué opina del trabajo de George Romero? ¿Se inspira en George Romero's work and do you find inspiration in it? Okay, George Romero. What do I think of his work? Um, I thought that the I thought the first movie he made, which was the uh, Night of the Living Dead, the black and white Night of the Living Dead, uh, I thought it was a great film accomplishment. And uh, uh, oddly enough, typically I try to avoid the zombie films um, if they're serious. So the, the serious, scary zombie films, um, I avoid them for the same reason that I avoid. Uh, like psycho killer films, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't have a taste for an appetite for watching films where there's humans being cruel to you, cruel to other humans. That said, I love monster films. As long as it's a fictitious character, those I like. So in the zombie genre, um, I look at it that there's two classifications of zombie films. There's the serious films, which are like Night of the Living Dead, uh, and, and many of the other zombie films that have come since then. And then there are the comedies. 
or semi comedies. And semi comedies is like Shaun of the Dead and uh, uh, Return of the Living Dead. So those are those are uh, uh, the Return of the Living Dead is my favorite zombie movie comedy, and my favorite zombie uh, I'll call it a movie though it's a TV show. My favorite other zombie, my serious zombie genre is uh, the Walking Dead TV show. That's my favorite by far. I mean, that I keep watching over and over and over and over again, and it doesn't gross me out. <laughs> so I, I love the series. I love the series. Hola, cultura cómic. Hola. Hola. No. Hola, cultura comic. Hola. Hola. Cultura comic. Hola, cultura comic. Este, México, ¿qué, ¿qué le parece su visita a México? Su visita a México. Oh, yeah, I enjoy myself at the uh, Moldy Comic Fair here in Mexico City. Yes, it was a, a real pleasant surprise. I actually I wasn't sure what to expect because uh, I've never never really been to Mexico. I mean, I visited Cancun very briefly, but that's kind of just going to the beach, so you didn't really get to see the, the country or the city that much. So uh, coming to Mexico City, I live in New York. Mexico City for me feels a lot like New York, so it feels a lot like home. Um, so it was a real surprise. Uh, uh, what, what a great, what a great town it is, what a great city it is, and the fans were uh, some of the best fans that I've ever met. I do, sh I do festivals all over the world, in Paris, in Spain, uh, and all over the United States. And I think this festival, uh, the Malay, was one of the nicest festivals ever that I've been, been against. I love Mexico.